Goku, start out some arm swings. Moved the room around here a little bit too. I wanted to have some more space. So we kind of had to move some things around. It's Friday. Had to go into my seesaw, make some adjustments there. Get my timer going here too. Let's go with some hip rotations. So we'll go feet apart, a little wider than shoulder width. Forward, side, back, side, forward, back. Whoa. Try to keep those legs straight and we'll go different directions too. This is a dynamic warm up, so we want to move through it. holding our stretches. We're just getting into the stretch and getting out of it. All right, those are hip rotations. How about some quad stretches? You can hold a wall for this one. Pull that heel up to your bottom. You can also just walk and do it. I like to do that. Point the knee down. Helps you work on your balance at the same time. Get that other hand out. Keep that balance, right? There we go. Those are quad stretches. And then some prone knee, wrist flexion and extension. So we'll be down on our hands and knees, okay? You can also be in a striking bear pose if you really want to challenge yourself. Striking bear pose and go back and forward. Put your hands to, point your fingers out to the side. Point your fingers back, maybe down on your knees for this one. Back sides of your hands too, so back hands. Lean back a little bit, it's going to be a lot of pressure on your wrists if you lean forward. So lean back a little bit. Again, move your fingers in, move them out, move them back. Moving forward. All right, 10 seconds. We're going right into a push up, knee up, shoulder tap. So a triple combo. And then a sit up, a lunge twist, elbow planks, table toe touches, high knees, drop squats, V sits, hand planks to toe touches, side shuffles to a, what does that say? I can't even read my own writing. Side shuffles to scissors, and then front kicks. One, two, three, jab, combo. That's going to be a fun one. All right. You ready for this? Okay. Here we go. We are going push-ups to knee-ups to shoulder taps, push-ups, knee-ups, shoulder taps. Push ups, knee ups, shoulder taps. That's a triple combo. Next one is a sit up. All right, knee ups and then shoulder taps. Sit ups. These are straight sit ups. 
Nothing special. Reach up through your legs, touch the ground, touch the ground behind you. Again, do it for 30 seconds or do it for a minute. Your choice. You need to just reach through, sit up. That's all. Nothing special. Building that core, core muscles. Next one is a lunge with a twist. Alrighty. Lunge, twist. Other leg. I'm gonna go outside today for this workout. And then just got sidetracked by all the work I was doing. I encourage you to go out more. If you need to have an adult with you, then do that. But if you don't need to have an adult with you, just get outside, get some fresh air. Okay, that was the lunge twist. Elbow planks. Elbows are right underneath your shoulders. Hands flat on the ground. Bottom. Bring it down a little bit. Sometimes we go high. Sometimes we go too low. Usually it's too high. Bring it down to your body. There's a straight plank or a straight board. If you can look down, you should be able to see your toes or look back through. Be able to see your toes and your hips. If you can't see your hips, then they're too high. Okay, if you can only do it for 30 seconds, then just do it for 30. We're just holding that elbow plank. And then we're doing a table toe touch. So we're gonna be flipping over for the next one. Okay? Table. Now, if you really want to challenge yourself, get your bottom up there, and then touch those toes. If you want to just touch your knee, that's fine. If you want to just hold your table pose, that's fine too. I'm touching the toes. Lots of balance in this one. Thirty more seconds. If you need to stop now, take a rest. Table toe touch. We're gonna take a minute break. And then we're doing high knees to drop squats, V sits, hand plank. Toe touches, side shuffle, two scissor jumps, and then a front kick to a one, two, three jab combo. That's going to be fun. I'll give you a little preview right now. So it's going to be a front kick, and then one, two, three, and then front kick, one, two, three. So whatever leg comes forward, if it's your left, and you're gonna jab with your left, right, left. Just like we're boxing. All right? I'm gonna take a sip of my drink here. 10 seconds. Heart rate's coming down a little bit. We're gonna shoot it right back up here with some high knees to drop squats. In three, two, one. Here we go. High knees, all right? And then drop squats. 
high knees, drop, high knees, get them up there, drop, there we go. By the way, if you're looking for somebody different to work out with, instead of just me, there's PE with Joe, drop, love that guy. He actually inspired me to do this. There's Betty Rocker. Did that yesterday with my wife. That was fun. BettyRocker.com. I'll put a link to both these teachers. It's just fun to work out with somebody different. Some days it's just fun to do like one exercise. I'm having a hard time with my knees right now because my exercises because of that strain of my calf muscle. All right, those were high knees to drop squats. V-sits. Okay. And with a knee up. Now, if you need to put your hands down, that's fine. Okay. V-sits. To a knee up. Try to keep those knees together. You need to put your hands behind your knees. Help you a little bit. That's fine. It's good for your core either way. Hand planks to toe touch is coming up. Hand plank. You know what that is by now. Hand plank, opposite toes, okay? So right leg, or right, just touch your, your opposites. Right hand to left toe, and then opposite. Try to keep your bottom down. Try to keep those hands under your shoulders. If you need to stop, take a breath, or if you need to just touch your knees, that's fine too. Just different modifications here to make it easier or harder, depending on your level of hardcore. Hand planks to toe touches. All right, side shuffle, the scissors. We're gonna go three. One, two, three, scissors. One, two, three, one, two, three. So those feet just switch. Right up front, left up front, right? Thinking of taking up boxing. Scissor jumps. I hope you're trying my other activities too. I got a jump rope video up. I got a mixed bean one. I put a yoga one up, I think. All right, last one, here we go. So, front kick, hoo, hoo, hoo. Front kick, hoo, hoo, hoo. Front kick. So it's right, one, two, three. Left, one, two, three. Right, one, two, three. Left, one, two, three. Here we go. Ten seconds. And then we got a cool down coming up. All right, good work. That was quick, right? 
Let's go right into a peacock stretch. 153. It's a good workout right there. Feet apart. Legs apart. Knees apart. Nice relaxed quads. These are your quads. Nice tall back. Okay, give you a side angle on this. How's that? Nice tall back. Hands in front. Let's focus on your breathing. Just slowing your breath down. Slowing your heart rate down. Put a little bit of engagement in the core. A little bit of a stretch in the legs. Slowing our heart rate down and our blood down, our blood flow down in a meaningful way. All right, next one, warrior pose. You know this one? Front leg is toes pointed forward, back leg, toes are pointed side to side. So perpendicular, parallel for you uh, mathematicians out there. Okay, straight leg in the back. Press that heel, sink down into it. 90 degree angle up here on the front. Challenging, okay? Not as challenging. All right, switch legs. So the other one, other toes are pointing forward. Sink down into it, 90 degrees. Straight leg back here. Press the heel to the ground, okay? Challenging. Breathing, five seconds. Next one's a pigeon. I always say, I wonder if it's really called a pigeon. Okay, one knee on the ground in front, straight leg in the back. Lean over that knee, get your elbows on the ground. If it's too hard, get your hands on the ground, but you can really lean into it with your elbows. Feel a stretch in the back of that leg up front. I'll give you a side angle on this in a minute. That back leg should be straight. Laces touching the ground. Remember, breathing, it's all part of it, right? Here's another angle here, the other leg. You should feel a stretch over here. Next one is seal. And then we're done. There we go. Let those hips touch the ground, straight arms. Looking straight ahead. Okay, shoulders back, chest out. Hands should be right underneath the shoulders here. A little stretch in your abdomen, your stomach muscles, your low back. Remember breathing. Nice and slow. Another angle here. There we go. Go shoulders back, chest out. Good workout today, everyone. It's quick. Happy Friday. Stay active, even over the weekend. Pick an exercise. Do an exercise when you wake up on Saturday. Before you go to bed on Sunday. <sighs>